Hello children, how are you? I hope that you have enjoyed the last video. Right children? We were talking about animal fiber. Especially the preparation of wool from the animals. So we have learned the different techniques of uh, uh, sorry, obtaining the uh, hair of the animals in our last video. So we have learned the three steps. What are those things? First one is shearing. Second one is scoring. And third one is sorting. So these three steps have been finished. Now our half pay process is ready. Now the remaining steps are to be followed to get nice finished woolen clothes. Okay children. So this is your Sobhagya Madam and let us start our new video on shearing of animals. Okay. So how you are doing this? So after the sorting has been done, the wool is ready. And children here I wanted to ask you a question. Do all the woolen clothes which we wear are of same color? No. Okay. So we really love to wear different colored clothes. Either it could be casuals, it could be formals or it could be woolen clothes. Any clothing which we wear wanted to be differently colored. So in the same way, the wool which has been sorted out is ready for the next step that is called as bleaching. What is the next step children? Bleaching. Bleaching. So what will be done in this step? So in this step what they will do is they add this wool or the yarn which we get from the animals in the bigger vessels to make it bleached. So why this bleaching is done? They add some chemicals. They add some chemicals here so that the bleaching procedure is done for the yarn. So once the fleas are bleached, they are ready for next step. What is the next step children? Dyeing. What it is children? Dyeing. Dyeing is nothing but coloring of the fleas. Here different colors. The fleas which are processed which are processed are undergone through these two main steps the bleaching and dyeing here the chemicals have been added for the bleaching process so that once the yarn is completely bleached it has a capacity to absorb the colors color is nothing but dyeing dyeing means adding colors to the whatever it is here we are adding color to the yarn okay so the dyeing procedure, the different colors are been added to the yarn. So once these two steps are finished, once these two steps are finished, the wool is ready for the next important step that is called as weaving. Weaving. So what is this weaving? Weaving is nothing but preparing the finished goods. So if you want any goods, we have to weave it from the wool. Okay children, before this weaving, we have one more thing. That is called as combing and carding. So now we will see what is this combing and carding in detail. So now we are ready with the dyed wool or the colored wool. Once the colored wool is uh, there. What we have to do? The next step is combing or carding. What is the combing? See children at home what do you do? You comb your hair. Why you comb your hair? Why you comb your hair? So that you can make a nice hairstyle. Yes. To make a nice hairstyle you are combing your hair. In the same way here the colored wool. See when you are dyeing or bleaching or coloring the Wool, sometimes they may get 
అసి నలిగిపోయినట్టు అయిపోతుంది అనమాట ఒక దాంతో ఒకటి అటాచ్ అయిపోయి నలిగిపోయినట్టు అయిపోతుంది సో ఇన్ దిస్ కూమింగ్ చట్నీ యూ హ్యావ్ లార్జ్ మెషీన్స్ బిగ్గర్ మెషీన్స్ విచ్ కంటెన్ టీత్ లైక్ స్ట్రక్చర్ సి చిల్డ్రన్ ఐ హ్యావ్ డ్రాన్ అ సింపుల్ మెషిన్ ఫర్ యూ హియర్ టీత్ మషీన్ విచ్ హ్యావ్ టీత్ లైక్ స్ట్రక్చర్స్ వాట్ విల్ బీ డన్ ఆన్ దిస్ వన్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ కూమింగ్ ఆర్ కార్డింగ్ టెక్నిక్ ద వోల్ ఈస్ బీన్ ఫుల్డ్ ఇట్లా మధ్యలోంచి ఇట్లా లాగుతూ ఉంటారు అనమాట ఈ టీత్ లాంటివి ఏం చేస్తాయి అంటే ఇలా పుల్ చేస్తున్నప్పుడు చూడండి ఇఫ్ యూ కూమ్ యూ హెయిర్ ద టీత్ ఆఫ్ ద సారీ ద టీత్ ఆఫ్ ద హెయిర్ బ్రష్ విల్ సారీ యువర్ హెయిర్ విల్ మూవ్ టువర్ త్రూ ద టీత్ ఆఫ్ ద బ్రష్ ఎస్ చూడండి ఇలా ఉన్నది అనుకోండి ఇట్లా వీటి మధ్యలోంచి వెళ్తూ ఉంటాయి అవునా కదా సో వెన్ యూఆర్ డూయింగ్ లైక్ దిస్ యువర్ హెయిర్ విల్ బికమ్ సాఫ్ట్ in the same way here also the combing and carding technique the wool is sent through the teeth like structures which are present on the machine so when it is passing through the machine what will happen the wool is been combed very nicely so that it can get very soft chakka metta ga doodh chakka etla untundi soft ga the wool so when this technique is done so the combing machines are useful for combing the wool to make uh it very soft and have a good texture to make the wool very soft and have a good texture this combing and carding techniques are been used okay once the combed hair is ready or the combed fur is ready what the next step is there are some spinning machines spinning machines what does the spinning machines do say as i said that the fleece are of 3 to 5 inches and like this much only this much hair so with this much hair you cannot do anything you cannot weave anything so what the people will do there by using the spinning machines spinning machines ante you will have something like rollers rollers laga unta anamata so what they do by using the spinning machines this combed hair is be converted it will be rolled and twisted it will be rolled and twisted see what you will do uh, if you have pieces of thread given to you if you want a big thread what you will do you will just tie it up to one another so that it can become big but here if you tie it up it is not easy for weaving so what it will do is the spinning machine it will roll and it will twist the hair so that after some time because of the rolling and twisting the hairs are mingled with one another and they are formed into a rope like structure okay they will become long long yarns chala podavaati daralu kinda tayar avuthe okay so adi podavuga tayaraina prem avutundante so that it will be very easy for the people to knit or to weave on the handloom okay so akade అలా చదగడానికి స్పిన్నింగ్ మిషన్స్ అనేవి యూజ్ అవుతాయి సో ద స్పిన్నింగ్ మిషన్స్ ద వీల్ లైక్ స్ట్రక్చర్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ విచ్ ఆర్ యూజ్ ఫర్ పుల్లింగ్ అండ్ రోలింగ్ టు మేక్ దమ్ ఇన్ టు లాంగర్ థ్రెడ్స్ చక్కగా లాంగ్ థ్రెడ్స్ లాగా చేసి వాటిని ఏం చేస్తారంటే రోల్ చేసి దారం రీల్ చూసారు కదా దారం రీలు అది ఎట్లా ఉంటుంది చక్కగా రోల్ చేసి ఉంటుంది సో దట్ మనం తీసుకునేటప్పుడు ఈజీగా ఉంటుంది అవునా కదా ఇన్ ద సేమ్ వే హ్యూర్ ద ఫ్లీజ్ ఆర్ బీన్ nicely spinned they are nicely spinned and made into long thick rolls so that they can be rolled easily and when they are weaved it can be done very easily so here the steps are first step bleaching adding the chemicals dyeing adding the colors so now the wool is ready with the chemical colors and also next the next step is combing to make it very soft the combing or the carding technique is used where the wool is been passed through the teeth like structures manaki brushes ala untai mana combs atla ne untavi pedda pedda machines anamata so they will be combing the wool to make it very soft and fine okay so after this step this nicely combed wool is been spinned or they are made up into longer threads so children after all these steps our wool is ready to prepare the 
clothing. Chala steps jarge kada from the shearing to spinning. There are many steps involved. After all these steps, now the wool is ready for the final step that is called as weaving. So we will see how the weaving is being done. Okay, children. So what kind of clothing are being woven by the wool? Or what kind of clothes can be made from the wool? So now we will see what kind of clothing we can do. So what kind of clothing can be done? We can prepare sweaters, mufflers, hats, long coats, table covers and so on. So mainly in winter season we love to wear sweaters, mufflers and hats. So to protect our body from the outer cold conditions. So these sweaters will maintain the heat in our body to uh, support the outer cool climate. So the sweaters, mufflers, hats, long coats, table covers etc. are being weaved by using this uh, wool. So what is this weaving? The last step <coughs> after prepared wool, what is the last step? The weaving. How the weaving is done? The weaving can be done in two ways. One is knitting. One is knitting and the second one is on the looms. Actually I have, uh, sorry, in the last video I have said muggum. Okay, we will see what are the two techniques of weaving. So what is the first technique? Knitting. Knitting means, uh, see, if you want to knit a sweater or a head cap, so you have two needles like this. These are called as knits. By using these two needles, the wool is being looped and twisted and turned so that a nice shape is given to the fabric. Okay, children. See here, the knitting is a very uh, intelligent work, we can say. Here, it is not an easy technique. Maybe it is very easy or simple to look at, but by doing, while doing the knitting, it is very hard. So, you have to know how to loop the wool and turn and twist it. So that a nice piece of sweater or a head cap or a coat or a table cover can be made from this wool. If children you can look at your homes, you can find this variety of wool items that have been done by your mothers. Okay, these needles, the knitting needles will be available in the market. By using these knitting needles, they can prepare different shapes. They can prepare different shapes by using this knitting. So what is the next step? The next step is looms. Working on the looms. It is simply called as Maggam in Telugu. As I said, to prepare a sari, the silk threads are being loomed. Maggam is made of the same as it is made of the So, it is made of the How the, in the same way, how the silk thread is being used, in the same way or in the same procedure, the woolen thread is also being used to knit the different varieties of sweaters or any item from the wool. So how it is done, we will see now. Okay children, see in the textbook part, if you can see here, a person is sitting here. Yes, in front of him there is a big machinery made up of wool, which is called as loom. So how this is being done, I will read it for you, listen carefully. Woolen threads are stretched from the top of the loom to the bottom. So the woolen threads are being taken from the top to the bottom. These are called as warp threads. What are these children? These are called as warp threads. The threads go side to side as web threads. So there are two kinds of threads here. Those are warp and web. So these warp threads go from top to bottom. These threads go from top to bottom and the weft threads go from side to side.
side. They move from side to side. Okay. A shuttle like a big needle takes the weft threads over and under weft threads. So here there will be a needle. There will be a long needle. This needle will help to move this weft threads under this weft thread. Weft, sorry, weft threads by using the needle. One more important part of the loom is the harness. So there is another part in the loom that is called as harness. This is a part. This is a part. This harness lifts every other weft thread so that the weft thread can go one under the next. So it is also like a needle. I said the needles are used to uh, make this one over another. See, if you have, if you wanted to have a joint like this, so one have to go under another. Yes, children. See, one have to go under another. So these weft threads have to go under the weft threads by using the needles. And along with the needle, you also have a separate needle-like structure. It is called as harness. It is a part which is present in the loom. This harness will help this these threads along with the needle to go one another see from under to top from top to bottom okay so these threads can be moved from top to bottom or bottom to top by using this looms all type of yarn whether cotton or silk or wool are woven in this manner idanta entante maggam meeda pani maggam meeda pani so, this is the needles and the threads So, this is the threads So, this threads So, this is the threads So, this is the movement So, this is the movement So, this is a step by step procedure So, that by using the step by step procedure The yarn has been bonded with one another like this So, this is the kalipi the step by step procedure of top to bottom and moving from side to side will help on the loom along with the needles and the harness. So this is the technique to move any kind of clothing either if you are using wool or if you are using silk or if you are using cotton. So the same technique goes on. Okay children. So children up to now we have seen the different stages of how the wool is been converted into a fabric okay once again we'll see the flow chart of all the steps that are involved in this procedure so we will start with the shearing the first step shearing collecting the wool from the animals shearing by uh, cutting the hair of the animals next one scoring scoring means you will run under the streamed water to make it a little softer okay so that we can also remove the dirt and everything which is present in the wool so next one is sorting sorting means you have to remove the unwanted things which are present in the wool like small twigs or leaves or anything like that okay so next after sorting we will go for the bleaching here the bleaching by adding some chemicals Next, dyeing. Dyeing is nothing but the coloring of the fabric. So, here the, the yarn, the wool yarn which has been dyed, get different colors. Either pink, red, green, yellow, orange, all the colors. There are a combination of colors. Okay. So, the dyeing is been done. Once the dyeing is done, next the combing or carding step takes place. So, that the softness in the wool bean is being increased so that it is easy for the next stages okay so the combing will be done on the large machines which are having teeth like structures so they comb the wool they comb the wool next spinning once the wool is been combed out what they will do they wanted them into a long thread like structures so this threading can be done by only spinning the wool okay here the spinning will be done as the spinning is done next step the rolling and twisting is done to prepare the wool into longer threads once the long threads are completed then we can go for the weaving here in the weaving we have two techniques one is knitting 
knitting mail by doing with the needle like structures two needles will be there to knit the sweater and the second one working on the loom so once we work on these two by knitting or weaving the final product is ready so once the final product is ready you can sell it in the market okay children see how nicely the fabrics are been made either it could be silk or either it could be wool here i want to add a point so children uh, we have wool sorry silk and cotton silk we get from the animals and cotton we get from the plants silk it has contain protein animal protein and uh, the cotton fab fiber contain which you get from the plant the plants contain cellulose the plants contain cellulose so there the protein which is present is a cellulose it is a carbohydrate sorry not protein it is a carbohydrate so the carbohydrate is present in the cotton fiber and the protein is present in the silk and the wool fiber so there i have given a clarity for you children and now once these sweaters or the mufflers or the hats which are been prepared it is been set for selling in the market so see children the animal fiber the fibers that we are getting naturally from the animals either it could be silk or the cotton so both are been used for preparing different kinds of fabrics okay so animals are also useful like the plants for all the living things children please do watch the video once again completely and try to answer the questions which were given to you and also try to read the textbook part that's all for this video signing off your saubhagya ma'am and let us meet very soon in our next video take care stay home stay safe